One of the mistakes what I see beginners do, they try to remove the print from hot build plate. And this is it's not the right way how to do it. The purpose of having hot bed that the filament will stick on the build plate that the printer can continue printing on other layers. If you try to remove the print from hot build plate that can deform the shape of the print and also if you try to force it that can create scratch on the build plate. If you want to avoid all these problems you can just let your 3D printer cool down after that you can remove the print from the build plate. If you want to speed up the process you just need to remove the build plate and put it somewhere that make it cool it down. Because when the printer stop printing still the bed it's hot it takes time that it cool down. After that it will be easily to remove the print from the build plate without having scratch on the build plate or without deforming the shape of the print. If you want the faster option you can buy more build plate that you can sweep you remove the build plate then you put a new one and you continue printing. Other mistake what I see beginners they do it they don't know how to store and protect them filament. These kind of mistakes can add more waste and can reduce the print quality. Most of product can be affected by your environment. For example milk cannot resist for a longer time in warm environment. That's why the fridge it's a good option to store the milk. Same thing with the filament. If you don't know how to store the filament, the filament get affected by the air. I try to explain to you. Around us there is air and this air contains water. We cannot see it by eyes that what we call it humidity. Filament can take water from air and that what we call it moisture. So water transform from air it will get inside the filament. You cannot see the water what it's inside the filament by your eyes but you can see it by microscope. When you try to 3D print with the filament what is contained in water, the nozzle it needs to get hot to melt the filament, that water will transform to steam, it's kind of gas, and that creates small bubbles. To avoid that, the first thing you should to make sure you open a filament spool only when you need that. There is no point to open tens of different filament while you can print only with one print and you print sometimes. That will be understandable if you have print farm or you are in business. Also you should to consider that different type of filament have different resistance to humidity. If you have a budget you can buy AMS that you can store your filament there. The good thing about the AMS is that you can print with multicolor, you can store your filament and also you can dry it if you need to. If you can't afford that I'm sorry for you but I will give you another option. One of the best way that you can buy vacuum bags. Usually this method it's used for storing clothes that you can have more space. On the top there is two zip lock that you can close the bag. In the middle of the bag there is a hole what it's covered with a lid that you can remove the air, take it out from the bag. You just need to put your filament spool inside the bag. I will put here two, depends on the size of the bag, some it's smaller, some it's bigger, depends, you can buy whatever you want. If you want you can add this absorber bag, you just need to put in the middle. After that you just need to close the bag and you should to make sure that the zip lock it's locked. Here we have two zip lock, some they have one but of course always if you have more it's better. After that you just need to open the lid and you put the vacuum and you put it on. Few seconds then you will find all the air it's out. Then we just need to close the bag with the lid and you can see here the result. I think this is the cheapest way to store your filament. This vacuum bag it costs like 2 euros and you can use it many times. Storing the filament in the right way that can increase your print quality from this to this. Another mistake what I see beginners they do in it, they print with the wrong orientation. This is it's a big mistake because even if you have the best design and you print it with the wrong orientation that can affect strength adding more time to the print, using more material with support, even it can affect tolerance. I try to explain to you, for example I have this cube where there is a hole inside, if I print it like this, 
I need support and that add more time to print support and more time to remove support and create more filament waste. If I try to print it in this orientation that can affect tolerance because there is no support. This hole it's designed wrong and I made a video about how to design better hole. So this orientation it's not the best but this it might be the best orientation to print because the hole it's on the top. About the strength, I have printed same design in two different orientation. One it's horizontal and one it's vertical. I printed them at the same time using same filament with the same printer. You can see that the print with horizontal orientation have more resist and that make your print stronger and difficult to break it. But in other side the print with the vertical orientation it wasn't that strong. With this example we can understand how the print orientation can affect the strength. Also printing orientation can affect printing time. I try to explain to you with this example. We will slice this model in this horizontal orientation and you can see that the printing total printing time it's 10 minutes and 53 seconds what it is 11 minutes. And you can see there is 35 layer, you can see it on the Z axis, 35 layer here. We will go to prepare and we will change orientation of printing. We will select that we will print it vertically on the Z axis. After slicing you can see that total printing time what it's 27 minutes and 36 seconds with 300 layer. You can see there is much much layers on the z-axis. There is almost 10 times more layers than the previous one. And that we can see it here with the total printing time almost 16 minutes more. Simplest way to explain it, having more layers you increase the printing time, having less you have less printing time. Other mistake what I see others they doing it while they are prototyping, they waste time and filament. For example this glasses I have designed that and I'm happy with that but I want to try if the hinge have a good tolerance and it's opening and closing in the good angle. I don't need to print a full body because I don't know if it's going to fit or no. That will be waste of filament and printing time. You can see here that after slicing this it will take 20 gram of filament and 50 minutes of printing time. Instead of printing a full body and prototyping on that, I can get the result just from printing part from the body. I don't need it all. Here I will split the body using splitting tool plane. And after when it's ready, just I need to print that. You can see here after slicing that we are going to use almost 5 gram of filament and we are going to print that almost 18 minutes. After that we can print and we will see the result if it's working or no. With this method we have a reduced printing time and we have a reduced filament. After that when you finish prototyping you can print a full body. This is just small example to explain to you but sometimes you need to work with a bigger object. Always it's good to get a result of prototyping fast as possible. Other mistake what I see beginners do that they print with the wrong filament. There is many types of filament. Every filament have a different resistance. Impact resistance, water resistance, heat resistance. Maybe PLA it's the most common because it's cheap, friendly, easy to print. Also it uses less energy because you can melt it at 200 degrees. But still it's not the best choice for heat resistance. What I want to say to choose the right filament for your print, you should to understand how you are going to use your print and where you are going to use it. If you know these things it become more easy to choose what the right filament for your print. For example this pen holder I use it PLA to print that because it will be indoor. Because I'm going to use it inside and I'm going to put pen inside that holder there is no water resistance or heat resistance so it will be so simple to print it with PLA. Here another example I printed this lid with TPU filament that it's more flexible. Even I'm going to use this print indoor but still TPU it's the best choice for that. 
because in this lock mechanism the lead it need to be flexible to lock it other reason i need to open and close the lead many times maybe many times per day so it i need to bend that what i want to say that there is no exact rules for example these two prints old i'm going to use it indoor but still i use different filament to make things more easy you just need to know how you are going to use this print and where you are going to use it now we get to the end of the video thank you for watching see you again